What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about the final book in the Devabad trilogy, The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. Sometimes big series like this kind of go out with a whimper. Like the final book in the series will be good but like it wasn't amazing, it, it did everything it was supposed to but it just doesn't like hit you emotionally. Like you, you know those series that I'm talking about. With Empire of Gold this is probably the best finale to a series I have ever read. It, it completely swept me away. I was totally shocked by it because I loved, you know, The City of Brass. It was really, really good. Kingdom of Copper, I thought was like a little bit draggy. The pacing was a little bit slow. And then going into Empire of Gold, I just wasn't sure what to think. I had forgotten so much from the previous books. I had to look up summaries, all this kind of stuff. And so I was really worried about it. And it's, it's beefy. I listened to this book. It's like 27 hours. It is a beefy book. But The Empire of Gold was so so good. It blew me away. I thought it was paced perfectly. The emotional beats just hit exactly the way they were supposed to and everything tied up and everything felt really good by the end of it. There is some things with the ending that like I wish could be different but like honestly it was perfect and I wouldn't change anything. So when we left off with Kingdom of Copper like big things were happening like Maniza and Dara have like stormed like Devabud like they are taking over everything. They killed the king. Nahari and Ali have like mysteriously vanished and showed up in Cairo. They have Suleiman's seal, which is on Ali's finger. Like things are going bad. Everything is bad right now. And what I did like about this is that it separated our cast. So we did have, you know, Dara with Maniza. He's within Devabud. But then we also had Nahari and Ali outside of Devabud trying to like gather some allies, trying to figure out, you know, what they're going to do now. They're feeling like they've lost. Like they feel like there's nothing that they can do. They even have this opportunity where it's like, you know, maybe we could just walk away from it all. We're not there anymore. It doesn't have to be our fight. I loved seeing them like piece that together. And what I really liked about like Nahari and Ali's side of the story is that they were really uncovering their past. Like what exactly had been going on with Ali and the Marid? Like what's going on with his past? Going back to like where his mother is from. And with Nahari, there's a big focus in this book about putting together who she is. Like we know she's a Shafi, like we've been told that her mother is Beniza, but there's still so much more to be said about that. And the way that the journeys went on, it was so emotional and it was so perfect. I loved where their stories ended up by the end of it. It was really, really moving and I just couldn't help but think about other series where they get to the finale and they just kind of fumble it. But like with this one, like man, it just went for it. Now Dara, he is a sad boy and he is really going through it and I wish that we could have gotten more of him like with our main cast, but at the same time him being so removed from it and like again kind of uncovering the things that have been done to him and we see like more things that are being done to him, it adds to the anxiety that you get later on in the book because things start to come to a head. Like the climax of this book was so stressful. I think the only other time I have been this stressed was when I read Crescent City. Like honestly, right now as it stands, Crescent City, Song of Wraiths and Ruin, and Empire of Gold, best books I've read all year. Like I can't believe how freaking good Empire of Gold is. If you haven't read the Dave of a Trilogy, dude, like highly recommend it. Very, very good. So good. The finale just blew me away. I have never seen a series come to a head quite like this and I just absolutely loved it. So this book is getting an A plus for me. Honestly, cannot recommend it enough. So excited that S.A. Chakraborty is going to be writing with Star Wars. Please let her write all the Star Wars because girl, she knows what is going on. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!